Okay, now we're gonna flush out the front brake. And I like to, you can either, if you don't have this cool tool, which most people don't, um, you can do it by hand. And I'll talk about that as we're going. I like to get the old fluid out of the brake up here. You can just use blue paper towels, shop towels to soak it out of there, uh, that kind of thing. We don't use fancy high dollar brake fluid. Dot four, this stuff I get at AutoZone and also O'Reilly's has another one. This one's really good. This one's called, I like this one because it comes in a metal can. The metal can holds it better. This one's not open yet. Dot four, it has a high boiling point. You don't need the little tiny bottle that's $25 that's for motocross guys. Sorry, um, that might maybe make a few people mad, right? But I hate to see people waste money on certain stuff. I put into this small bottle and we've rigged up a hose in here. So it makes it really kind of convenient to fill this up like this. A little easier, okay? So here I hook on my line to here and you can do this just with a hose into like a bottle if you wanted or into a bucket. Uh, but you wanna be able to see the hose so you can see that it's, if, if you're losing bubbles out of here. So I'm just gonna crack this, and when I crack this, like so, then I can start sucking it out here. Now, I don't wanna do this till I have somebody up top to keep it full. Um, doing it by yourself, it, you can do it, and I have done it, it's not that fun. Going down fast? Not that fast, oh yeah, no, quite fast. It's good. Oh, okay, hold it. Okay, pump it. Hold it. Pump it. Hold it. Pump it. Hold it. Pump it. Pump it. When I'm working down here, I take this off so it doesn't get damaged. And I'm going to put it back on now. So we're pretty good right now, but we're going to do the final step is the key here. Okay, so the final step is black back bleeding. Or, or I'm going to push fluid up through this line right here. So I'm trying to get fluid to come up here. Don't, don't pump anymore. Mm -hmm. now, so every time I do it, then he'll pump it just three or four times and, uh, and then let go. So if you tap the line like this, it's letting air bubbles up to here. And then overnight, it's good to put a zip tie on here overnight. We'll talk about that. So, now at this point right here, I put gloves on because it, it actually hurts your hands pretty quite a bit. And I think it actually is better if I sit on the floor and I just, I put my fingers on the back side of the rotor and I push on the caliper and it push bubbles up. You see the bubbles come up? No bubbles yet. He wasn't looking. So give it like three three pumps until it gets, gets firm there. Okay. Okay, now let go. Now you don't want to pump it too much because it's pushing air bubbles down. Mm -hmm. so you just want to get it firm. My rule of thumb is if you do it three times, now watch. Any bubbles? No bubbles. No bubbles, just do it. Can you do it one more time? If I can do it three times with no bubbles, usually, usually you're good. No bubbles. No bubbles. Okay, we're good. And I kind of can tell because it's so hard to do down here. If it's a little easier, then I know there's bubbles in the line. Feel pretty good? Feels really good, man. Like way better? Yep. Okay. 100%. I, cl I cleaned this off. I'm going to put it back on here. Now, one little thing you'll learn over the years is, is you want a little grease on these right here. Just right in here. Every single... That's way too much. Yeah, it is way too much. But it'll pop out. Now, and I'm putting it on that surface, not so much the threads. The threads aren't what sticks. If anybody's worked on bikes a lot, they've had these fail, uh, you know, strip out with like an, especially the Japanese bikes, they have a Phillips head here. Mm -hmm. And we've had so many, we've had to drill out over the years because they get seized in place. So you just go like this and they don't gotta be, they don't gotta be that tight. Um, you don't wanna over tighten these. So just, wow. so brake feels awesome. And we've come out a few clicks. We've moved it back in. We're feeling pretty good. I, I think you could even go a little more, you could play with it. Mm -hmm. um, maybe look at one of my bikes. I don't have a KTM up here yet. We'll, we'll look at one of mine. And I think I'm, this is touching the, ki the starter button. So I think you could even go in a little further. Now, 
That way when you pull that brake, you're getting right to that sweet spot. Mm -hmm. That, that uh, oh, that brake tool I have, it's called Vacula. If anybody's wondering online. If you only have one bike. That feels you, great. Uh, everything feels pretty good there. Yep. Huh? Okay, so that's all feeling good. Fork's all done. Let's move on to our next thing.